So this is a big one, guys. We are excited. We're less than a week away now from the Shore Strength Classic. The Shore Classic. The Shore Classic. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big one. Lots of people talking about this show online. Brian putting a lot of effort into making this as big as possible. Mm. Last year was a great show. He's gone bigger and better this year. The arena looks cool. The equipment that he's getting in is looking awesome. We're going to go through the updated athlete lineup because there's been a number of changes. We're going to go through the events and we're going to give you the Uncle Loz and Auntie Liz predictions. First then, the athlete changes. Now, originally we were supposed to have both Stockman brothers compete in this competition. Unfortunately, it clashes with their sister's wedding. They did try and get her to move the date. I'm sure she's probably already had to move the date several times. It's one of those unavoidable things, but hopefully it's going to help them um, for their battle for the title of Europe strongest. I, I, I think for them to win Europe, this is a good thing for them to do. Yes, definitely. Alexei Novikov has also pulled out of the competition. So on the short elite club, Brian did a Q&A and he cited the reason as being Alexei is still suffering somewhat with a concussion that he sustained after the Giants Live Manchester competition. And finally, Robert Oberst has also pulled out of the competition because he has, I think, according to Shaw also on the same platform, sustained a shoulder injury. So replacing Alexei and Robert, we have in the mix now, Gabriel Pena, who um, we met for the first time in Manchester guy, and we're now athlete. very big fans of, so we're very happy to see him in. And also Gabriel Rayom, who was the winner of this year's Canada's Strongest Man, who we've not seen compete at this level before, so very excited to see him come into the competition. It's going to be quite cool to see him against Maxime and JF yes. in a, a high-level international show. So should we go through the athletes competing? Yeah, it's quite a long list, this one, so we'll see if we can get through it without messing it up. So starting off, we've got the current Britain's Strongest Man, Adam Bishop. Third place at World's Strongest Man 2021, Maxime Boudreau. One of the most consistent performers over the last 10 years, the one and only JF Caron. One of America's top strong men right now, Kevin Ferris. Someone that's going to be coming to challenge the log record, my buddy, the one and only Graham Hicks. The awesome Trey Mitchell, who plays fourth at this year's World's Strongest Man. The newly crowned Canada's Strongest Man, Gabriel Rayon. Then we have strongman veteran and royalty, Jerry Pritchett. The Russian assassin, Mikhail Shivlikov. Then we have the man himself, four-time World's Strongest Man, Mr. Brian Shaw. Next up, we've got Evan Singleton, who is just off an incredible tour of the UK, taking two podium positions in the Giants live shows. The Strongman Champions League overall champion from Latvia, Ivar Schmuckstelis. Then we've got the current American Loglift record holder, the one and only Bobby Thompson. He's back from injury and he plays sixth at this year's World's Strongest Man, it's Konstantin Janasha. The return to major contest of the GOAT, the one and only Zadrinus Zaviskas. And finally, he's just pulled a thousand pounds at the Deadlift World Championships, it's Gabriel Pena. Now, obviously it's a real shame not to see the current and the previous World's Strongest Man in this lineup, but I think this is such an incredible list of athletes and I'm so excited to see all of them in one competition together. This is what I feel World's Strongest Man misses out on. Because of the group stages and the unpredictable nature of how that works, you never get all of the best guys into the final. And that's not to say anything against the other guys, you know, if you're in the final, you did really well. But I want a bigger final. I want to see more men, more events. And that is what the you Shore Classic... You always want to see more men. I want more men. <laughs> but this is what the Shore Classic gives the, us, the and other, that's why I like it. The other thing that I really like about the Shore Classic is there's more events. Yes. So over two days, this contest, doing four events a day with eight events. Yes. And it's a great list of events to really decide who is the best. Let's go through the events then. Starting off with the log for Max. Mm. So straight away, when you're talking log for Max and looking at this lineup, you're kind of starting to look at Graham Hicks and Bobby Thompson. And Zadrinus. That's good. Yes. It's, a, it's, a, it's a good point. And it shows <laughs> where my head is at the moment. Is Zadrinus Viscus. There's no problem be a, probably about it. The greatest overhead lifter in terms of strongman mm -hmm. of all time. Mm -hmm. Sin his training. Looking pretty strong. Mm -hmm. I don't believe he challenges those two right now. Interesting take. I think he'll score well. So Drinus has this ability to just get strong fast. Yeah. He's like, my first log lift session, I lift 170. My second log lift session, I lift 180. Then like 190. You think, 
who the hell does that? Who's lifting 190 yeah. after their third, you know, yeah. session in the log? Where is his base at? Yeah, his I mean, base is extremely high. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't believe Zadrunas is the Zadrunas of 10 years ago. Wow. Really He's hard. still dangerous. <laughs> yeah. He will still place well. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'd be over the moon if he shocks me. Yeah. You know, just to see him roll back the years and show what he could do, you know, 2012, kind of 2013, 2014 kind of time. He was without question just a beast mm. but he's 46 i believe he's you know had a bit of time off in terms of this level i know he's yeah. been doing some some other shows but this is a, a step up again um i think that the log is going to come down to hicksy and bobby thompson do you think we will see a world record at this competition honestly no do you think the altitude might be a factor there? No, I don't think the altitude will affect too much with an event like a max event. I think mm -hmm. the altitude will affect more in terms of endurance and recovery. Um, but one rep, I think they'll be fine. Um, I just feel neither of these guys are at world record level right now. Hixie is coming back from injury. Yeah. Um, Bobby isn't quite as high in terms of his max as, as, as Hixie, but he's looking in good shape. And current American lock. If Hixie is a bit it? off his best, mm. Bobby could take it. Yeah. Some other great log lifters as well in there. Um, Maxime Boudreau. Maxime, unbelievable log lifter. Uh, I think Evan Singleton's overhead is getting stronger and stronger. Trey Mitchell, another good presser oh, as yeah. well. You know, you look at this lineup and you just think, damn. You, damn. you don't want to be going into this competition with less than 200 kilos in you, do you? <laughs> you don't. No. I mean, you know potentially 200 kilos might not get you many points no we're seeing that with the deadlift now where 425 kilos didn't get guys many points in mm. manchester so event number two is the super yoke and we've got a few guys in this show that are extremely good on these type of events starting with brian shaw yes he is extremely good at the yoke particularly when it's nice and heavy mm -hmm. which it's going to be um adam bishop graham hicks hicks he's good at moving events also, Evan Singleton, that mm -hmm. guy is fast. He's getting better and better. Every time we see him, I think he can really challenge on this event. So it's going to be an interesting one. Once upon a time, it was a brilliant event for Zadrunas also. It was. Yeah. You know, Zadrunas in his... But there wasn't really many bad events for Zadrunas no, in there his wasn't. prime. <laughs> I know... Look, I'd love to sit here and, you know, in fantasy world, go to... You know, we want to see Zadrunas back to his best. Floating floating along like he did kind of you know and then suddenly just switches it on and he's incredible i just don't see it it's honestly i feel like it's almost impossible to say how he's going to compare to these athletes he could come last he could come top I don't, five i don't think zadrunas comes last no but Not anything all. he could place anywhere yeah you know i just don't yeah. it's so hard to call uh, zadrunas. Zadrunas, zadrunas never you you, you he, him at 90 percent, which is probably what we're going to see is still ridiculously good 90 percent would be outrageous do you think we'll see as much as 90 percent potentially we just don't know we just don't but know. that's the exciting thing the next event is the Bag Over Bar, yeah. which used to be a great event for him. Uh, also a great event for Brian Shaw. This is also a great event for Maxime Boudreau. Yeah, he did really well at Worlds on this, didn't and he? And I said he would. And you then did. I said he'd do well at the Stones, and everyone started saying things about me. <laughs> <laughs> Maxime did amazing at Worlds Strongest he Man. Did. He really did. <laughs> uh, now is his chance to prove he's got that consistency in multiple shows. Yeah. You know, that's where you go from being a good strongman to being a great strongman is when you can go from show to show to show, like the likes of Zadrinus did, like the likes of Brian Shaw. You know, they proved it multiple times. Yeah. And, and this is, you know, Maxime's chance. And in this event, I believe it's a fixed height with an increase in weight for the bag over here. Okay. So, so for me, I'd be picking Brian Shaw on an event like this. Yeah, definitely. Particularly in this lineup. There's no Tom Stoltman. Thor's done. You know, I think... Maxime could do very well in this. And moving on to the next event, the squat lift. Now, again, squat lift, you would pick someone like Graham. He is, when it comes to that static strength, yeah. he's a beast. But so is, I think he's a great squatter, who we always overlook is Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw's a great squatter. J.F. Caron. Zadrunas. Bobby Thompson. And Zadrunas still looks like his squat is strong. I mean, most of these guys can squat now. You yeah. Know, there was a time at World's Strongest Man, you'd get some guys that were good deadlifters, but they couldn't squat. Yeah. Now, this is a strong. everyone can squat. Ivers is a good squatter as well. Ivers can squat. Trey Mitchell looks like he can squat. He looks like he should squat. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Thompson, you know... Gabe is, is statically really strong yes, in the gym. Yes, yes, Gabe. So, you know, the squat could be an interesting one. And we do 
don't see the squat that often. No, usually, not usually often it's just worlds. Yeah. Squat is going to be the last event of day one. Then they're moving on to day two, starting with the Hummer deadlift. Oh. So and squatting. Anyone that's ever done powerlifting, you do a big squat, it is going to affect your deadlift. Mm -hmm. You know, by the time you get through the bench and then you get onto deadlift, you're normally not deadlifting PBs. No, but we've got some great deadlifters here. Obviously, current record holder on this setup is JF Karam from last year's Shaw Classic. I mean, the battle between JF and Jerry last year. Oh, how cool amazing. was that? Amazing, yeah, it was really cool. Then you've got the likes of Adam Bishop. Yeah. You know, pulled a thousand pounds in Manchester a few weeks ago. Uh, you've got Bobby Thompson. Mm. You know, he wants to pull some big weights. Gabe Pena. Uh, Constantine Janasha. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a lineup of amazing deadlifts. I, I think Hicksy can do really well on the deadlift. Um, Evan Singleton proved us all wrong. You know, I really didn't expect him to pull a thousand pounds, yeah. and damn, he's getting stronger every time we see him. Zadrunas, from former record holder on the Hummer deadlift, yeah, it's just a stacked lineup of deadlifters. That event is going to be incredible. Yeah, this is the only event where I see Brian losing any sort of notable points as well. I think mid pack would be a great result here, but realistically, I think it might be slightly less than mid-pack here, but I do think he's going to smash most of the other events. Yeah, I think the log and the deadlift are going to be where he has to get damage control. Yeah. I think all the other events suit him extremely well. Yeah. He's a good deadlifter. He's just not quite as is. good as he used to be. No, no, since his injury in, was it 2019? His deadlift's just not been there. The next event is the wheelbarrow into arm over arm. And have you seen the the, the rig they've built yeah, for this? Yeah, I have. It looks really cool. If you guys, if, if any of you guys are going to the show, it's going to look absolutely epic. I know there's been talk of the tickets are too expensive and stuff like that. When you compare it to a lot of arena shows and you're looking at the people that pay VIP tickets, the ticket prices are fairly it's a lot similar. cheaper than that, actually. Cheaper, is it? Well, yeah. there you go. And it is quite a small... There's going to be a lot less people there in terms of a crowd. Yeah, yeah. I think it's comparable, at least. It's comparable to like a VIP ticket. Yeah, but I'm not saying that, like, it's not affordable for a lot of people. When you no. consider you also have to fly there and stay in hotels, it does make I, it quite I think, exclusive. I think if he could get a bigger venue, yes. it would be a different... And bring down the cost know, of... Yeah. That would be different. But it's a very small, intimate kind of venue that they've got. It, it's one of those things. Do you want to get in that closer to the action? I would personally. I would rather pay more and have less people around me because I'm not. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're antisocial. <laughs> All right, you go on your own. I'll stay home. But but that's I. I only speak for myself. Not everyone. A lot of people want the atmosphere of a bigger crowd, yeah. and obviously to be able to afford I mean, to I, go. I, I love a bigger crowd, and I think it's nice when you can get lots of people into an arena, but. I, I've experienced the intimacy of something like that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking, talking about I'm now? I'm talking smaller venues. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it is, it's quite nice to compete in the smaller venues when you've got like a few people. It's nice for the crowd as well. That it are is, there, you yeah. get to see everything kind of yeah. clearly. Uh, it's like it'd be someone's big head in your way. Yeah, you'll get, you know, much greater chance of meeting all the athletes yeah. and stuff like that. So I, I get both kind of sides of it. You know, it's it's nice to make it open to everyone. Yeah. But there's the live stream and, you know, other is, is it live? I'm pretty sure it's going to be like last year where it's one day behind, like a slightly edited, just a trimmed version of what's going on, okay. which I think worked really well, actually. It was a better show to watch than watching, you know. It, it wasn't like a six hour commitment from mm. anyone wanting to watch, but you got to see every guy go on every event which is what we really miss in the heavily edited world strongest man that ends up being released where you see a few things happen so the medley will be an interesting one it's, it's a harder one to pick a winner on yeah definitely For sure it's... this is going to massively suit brian though massively he was always so good at arm over arm i'll never forget 2009 where he absolutely obliterated oh. marius's time which yeah. everyone was like oh my god look what marius, marius did and did, then brian it, just stepped yeah, up marius did like an that. incredible time on yeah. the, it was the boat up up the ramp yeah and then brian just stepped in and just destroyed it yeah that being said, he did have a little issue with like nerve damage at one point where his arm over arm went down, but he, he got past that and he's, he's, you know, I still think he's going to smash gonna this smash event. He's going to smash it, yeah. Uh, dumbbell press, the next event, and with Alexi out, this massively favours uh, Brian again. Yeah. Uh, he's extremely good on the dumbbell and it comes, to, you know, we always talk about 
different types of overhead mm. it really makes a difference yeah don't necessarily just look at your log lifters um to pick who's going to do well in this because yeah. it's a very different event isn't it very much so brian's always beaten say zadrunas on dumbbell and zadrunas is a, you know he's the best log lifter of all time yeah and then finishing with the atlas stones everyone's good at atlas stones these days but Brian Shaw is exceptionally good at them. There's no Tom Stoltman There's no Tom here. Stoltman competing. So I think, you know, I, 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 I've said for a long time, I think Brian Shaw wins this show. I'm Maxime. Maxime could win the Stones. There we go. It's good to, good to have different picks. So <laughs> who, who are you going for in terms of an overall winner? Maybe, should we do top three? Yeah, let's We've do, got top to do top three. We've got to do top three. Definitely. All right. Overall, Brian. Yep. I think we're, we're in agreement then on that. Yeah. One. I think it's going to be very difficult for anyone to beat Brian because I think six of the events he's potentially Yeah. you know, he's top 3 on. It just depends if he doesn't drop too many points on the log and the deadlift. Yeah. And uh, you know, he's good at those as well. Yeah. And then it depends if anyone can really hang with him on every other event. Yeah. It's I don't see anyone that I think can be as consistent as him. No. Used to the environment. Yeah, the altitude particularly. Yeah. Obviously, the kit, he's got that access to it. A, and lot of it. a lot of it is new kit, to be fair. Yeah, but yeah. And you could also argue that the benefits of the home advantage are, are like sort of counterbalanced by the stress of putting on the competition. But when you've already got an incredible strongman and then you do add those little sort of advantages on, I just don't see anyone touching Well, he was Brian in great overall. shape. He was in great shape at Worlds. He was. He, he was, was in great shape. He the won the Shaw Classic last year. Last year. Yeah. Um, for me, he has to be the heavy favourite. Yeah, definitely. He really does. The interesting thing is then picking a second and third, because this, this could be really a difficult. lot harder. We're going to need a minute. One hour later. All right. All right. All right. We've had a think. We haven't conferred, though. I'm going first. <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies first? Ladies first. Go on. Tell us your top three. Brian Shaw, Trey Mitchell, and then JF Karan. Interesting, interesting. No, 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 that's that's it. That's that's your pick. No, I want to put Evan in. No, I'm going for Evan. You can't pick Evan. <laughs> no, I didn't know you were going for Evan. I'm no, just I, I want to do that. my top three, then you can change All yours. right, go on then. I am going for Brian Shaw yeah. taking the win, JF Caron to come second, and then Evan. And Evan to come third. But I think Trey Mitchell could be there or thereabouts. All right, I'm switching. I'm going Brian, then Trey, then Evan. Okay. You're chucking JF Caron out of the top three. Out of respect for him. Because when we put him in the top three, it doesn't help him. <laughs> well, I'm trying to... I, I'm bigging Pick him up. up. My mate. <laughs> you know. It's, he, it's, just, so, it's just hard. Look at, it's I'm hard. trying to look at the events. Now, an eight-event competition... Anything injuries can happen. can happen anything you know one mistake i would normally pick maxime but we know he got injured in in canada's strongest man constantine was on my mind but then i thought but there's a few things there that just there's, aren't the best so many factors same with bobby thompson jerry jerry Pena, you know when jerry's in shape yeah, you know it's it's, it's so just there's, there's a lot of kind of factors jerry is he in his best shape i know he had some injury issues he had fairly, surgery had surgery certain, fairly yeah. recently I don't think he's had enough time to come back. I might be totally wrong. Yeah. I love it when these guys prove me wrong. Yeah, definitely. But for me, I am going for Brian Shaw to take the win, JF Caron second, and Evan Singleton to take third place. Okay, and I am now committing to <laughs> Brian, Trey, Evan. <laughs> there we go, guys. Let us know your thoughts as always. Who do you think is going to win? Do you think Zadrunas can come back and shock everyone? I'd be over the moon to see that. Oh, Oh, wow. Well, it all How, bets would be off, wouldn't you know, it? <laughs> if if Sidrinus wins this, I think both of us need to do a forfeit for, for not putting <laughs> yeah, him in. Punish ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's going to be an exciting show. We're definitely looking forward to it. Yeah. It's going to be incredible. Let us know who you think is going to win. While you're here, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.